Really? You think I should record it? Okay. That's exactly how it went. Kind of. I've used LED strips quite a bit before, not quite the ones with the small little controller, like the ones you stick to a wall, more the ones that you control with an Arduino or Raspberry Pi. For example, to light up my desk or my dog. I also recently did a project where I turned my drum kit into a controller, specifically to make this guy feed me water while I'm playing the drums. It's really cool, if you haven't seen it yet, you should check it out up here or link down below. So I thought, why not combine the two and make a drum controlled LED light show? And the results are pretty cool. So here's what I did. The build involves some tricky steps. These are the parts I used, an LED strip obviously, a 10 amp power supply, plenty of wire, and these aluminium channel strips, which I used to mount the LED strips to the cymbal stands. This LED strip has individually addressable RGB pixels. Well, what does that mean? RGB stands for red, green, blue. Each pixel is actually made up of three LEDs, one red, one green, one blue, and they can be controlled on their own. The strip is also set up to be easily cut, so you can see the connections here are exposed. And to make things easier, I bought these clips, which are supposed to clip on and connect the terminals without having to solder. But I ended up having to solder them all anyway because the clips didn't work properly. So I cut the strip up into segments that fit into each drum, and then I split up what was left into four, one for each cymbal stand. These 10 inch pads were easy to just wedge the strip inside and push it against the skin. I just had to be really careful not to interfere with the actual sensor, which is a small piece of foam which you can see here on the 12 inch pad. And then the 12 inch pads have nothing for the strips to cling to, so I just used tape. I would have just glued everything on, but I didn't want to damage the pad. Except for this part where the heavier wire has to connect it from the power supply, which I eventually just got from frustrated and went at it with a hot glue gun. The terminals aren't actually that big, so soldering had to be quite delicate. I also used these heat shrink wraps to avoid terminals getting damaged or give them a bit more strength in case the wires get pulled. I just so happened to have two LED strips available when I started the project, so... I took the opportunity to link the spare strip to the bass drum. Given the bass drum is usually the biggest drum in an acoustic kit, I gave it the most LEDs in this case. So I set about building some stands which would hold the aluminium channels which would hold the spare LED strip. A face full of sawdust and 14 metal clips later, and the LEDs are ready to stand on their own. For the stands I just cut up some simple wooden dowels and screwed them together, and used some metal clips that came with the aluminium channels. Which brings me to the last piece of the puzzle, the brains of the project, a Raspberry Pi. This runs the code that I've written to control the LED strip with the drums. I actually spent more time writing the code for this project than putting it together. It took me a few tries to get the best algorithm, but all my code is linked below if you want to check it out. I'm actually going to do a separate video about the algorithm because I think it's pretty interesting. It took a while to get running properly, and if I start talking about it, things are probably going to get pretty nerdy, and I'm not going to put you through that unless you choose to. So if you're interested, maybe by the time you're watching this, the video might be linked up here. Feel free to click on it and check it out. So now the important part. Does it work? And how does it look? Well, I'll let you see for yourself. But just one more thing first. I actually went one step further and made a small web app to control the lights. Here I can set the colors for the toms, the snare, the kick, and the cymbals all separately. And I also added these two accent colors, which can be used when hitting the rim of a certain tom. Okay, now it's under control, so let's give it some juice.
the most accurate way I can describe the feeling of playing with it. It's like when you're at the sound check, the sound engineer tells you to start hitting the drum or hitting the bass drum, and it's like the moment when he pushes up the faders and turns up the volume and you feel that extra power of the subs behind your kick. It's like having that, where you just have this extra power on top of your acoustic drum kit. It's, it's a really, really nice feeling to have the visual of what you're playing and have every extra accent or even the small glow of the ghost notes or even seeing the trail you've left as you do a run around the toms or something. It's just, it's really nice to mess around with and just jam away to. I'm, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'll definitely be doing a lot of future videos with this and I'll hopefully get a chance to put it on a, an acoustic kit. I really enjoyed doing this project. If you made it this far, thank you for watching and I want to do more of this. If you want to see more of it, feel free to like and subscribe. Are you subscribed? Yeah. And if you're a drummer, I'd say try this out. If you have any inclination towards building things, I've done all the code. So you can copy the code, I have a link below. If you're just into programming, have a look, tell me what I'm doing wrong. And thanks for watching.